As the hot sun beat down on the sprinters and the crowd of the family and fellow students, Cody could hear the whispers coming from the stands and the other racers as they looked at what he was wearing. As his family was not rich, he could not afford the uniforms and gear that all their other racers had. And these were the only clothes that he had to bring with him. And while the other racers were dressed in their, their running shoes, shorts, and a tank, the young man was wearing old heavy boots, a pair of worn out jeans that were a few inches too short to be considered stylish, and his dad's old letterman jacket that he had earned patches for in his races. No one thought that he could win this race. It was a 1600 meter race, four laps around the track, and today he was intent on showing everyone else what he could do. On your marks, the official called out, and all of the racers got into their places. Get set! Cody began having difficulty getting his boot set up in the racing chocks, and he could hear the snickers from uh, parts of the crowd as they noticed his struggle. And with a loud bang from the official's gun, the race started, and all of the other racers ran with everything that they could. Cody, although he struggled with every fiber of his being to race, was slowed down by the weight of his boots and the constraints of the clothes that he was wearing. And he came in last place, finishing well after all of the other racers. Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verse is the first part of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. I'm not sure how you expected that story to end, but part of me was hoping that Cody would do well, that he would prove everyone else wrong. But logically, we know that that is not what happens in real life. See, Cody, he failed to realize that the uniforms are supplied by the coach, and he could have even gotten a pair of running shoes if he had simply asked. And as Christians, we often fail to realize the freedom that our God has given us. We allow our sin and shame to keep us from living the life that God, that God has called us to. See, many of us are, are living our lives as Christians and carrying around all of these, these heavy burdens that slow us down and trip us up. And we simply need to ask God for what we need to finish uh, well in the race that he has set before us. In Hebrews 12, verse 1, it says this, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. Like Cody, some of you today feel like you have these huge weights that you have to carry. And you're still carrying around the weights of pain and hurt that others have inflicted on you. And your inability to forgive has kept those burdens wrapped tightly around you. Or you're carrying around the shame and guilt of the things that you have done. The ways that you have harmed others and destroyed relationships. And the ways that you have uh, failed to live out the life that God has called you to in your past. See, God has called you to be his sons and daughters, and as his sons and daughters, he has promised to equip you for every race, for every challenge that you will face, and to free us from our heavy burdens. Jesus, back in Matthew chapter 12, uh, verse 28, he says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart. And you will find rest for your souls, for my, my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. So what dead weights are you carrying around in your life? I want you to have a chat with God today. And maybe you need someone else to, uh, to help you do that. But have the chat with God and ask him to show you what burdens you are carrying and what sins you need to disentangle yourself from so that you can finish the race of life and run it the way that you were meant to. Thank you for tuning in to your work for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.